200 meters from Power Pro, the automotive test meter or DM300 Auto. Um, it is, for one, you can see it's a 1,000 volt Cat 3, so EV safe meter, but it has some functions that most of your standard meters don't have. Now, you notice right in my voltmeter mode, I've got three options up here. First one is obviously my voltmeter, <laughs> but it'll auto select between AC and DC. Let's probe this here battery. And you also get color coding on the readings. So if this was 12.6, which a fully bat fully charged battery would be, that would be green. If it's a little bit lower, a little high, it'll turn yellow. If it's, it's way out of range, it'll turn red. It does that again. Yep, there it goes. That's me now. So anyway, so what what it's it does that again at 13.8 charging voltage. It does it again at 24 volt, at 28 volt, and at 5 volt for sensor circuits. So it, it color codes. Yeah, go for it. I remove it. So once you remove that. The other two options in that voltmeter mode were starter and alternator tests. And I can't run through the whole demo here, but basically it's going to want you to connect to the battery. It's going to tell you to crank the car for a while. It's going to give you a report of the cranking voltage and if it considers that high or low. Same with the alternator test. It's going to have you do things like, whoops. Hold still here. That <laughs> is a massive right. It'll have you turn like turn the headlights on and off, raise well, the RPM for a couple minutes. The then it'll give you a report at the end of the charging system voltage, any AC ripple, a complete report of the AC of the alternator. Um, you've got your ohm meter mode. That's pretty much like a standard multimeter. This mode is for frequency and or duty cycle percentage. All the way over at this end, we've got your diode test and your continuity buzzer. <laughs> and the mode that everybody really seems to be excited about is the amp meter mode on this one. Now, two options. Inline testing is like a traditional meter works where you're using your meter leads, but this is one of my favorite things of this meter. It does not allow you to mix up the leads and blow your fuses. And in fact, it even sets the range when you plug in the right port. There's your 10 amp range. We also include this heavy duty adapter, <laughs> excuse me, that'll then take it up to 30 amps. So you've got three times the amp measuring capacity of most meters out there on the market. Now the other option in that amp meter mode, let's back out of here, is reading current across a live fuse and you would use your standard leads there the tool includes these little fuse adapters that you can flip around to the different fuse sizes mini maxi and standard and then you once it fully goes off you know everything like that then you can tell your customer then you can probe across the fuse Oh, sorry, gotta select the fuse type and rating. So I've got a standard 10 amp fuse here. If I can hit those two fuse toes, there's my current draw right there. So you can use this to identify if you have a drain on your car, which circuit is causing that drain. 